Nice websites, right? Also nice. What if I told you that you can make your own websites? Awesome, right? Like, your website could look like this, or like this, or however you want. That's something amazing. If you do feel, then you're in the right place. Because today, I'm going to show you how you can create your own websites using HTML. This is for complete beginners who have no coding experience. I'm going to show you how to code in HTML and make your own websites. So, this is mainly targeted for beginners. So, uh, let's get started. And, yep. So, this is my small course or a playlist of videos where I'll be showing you the basics of HTML. I'll be covering from lists, I'll show you links, uh, anchor tags, a lot of tags, I'll show you what elements are, everything about HTML, the complete basics. So, now, what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. So, HTML. And um, it's like a language which helps your browser, which, for example, in my case is Firefox, understand what it should show. For example, now it's showing this text like this, this like this, this is moving like this, and this one looks like this. And when we hover, it takes us to another page. And this has all these effects like that this is small this is even smaller than that when i hold this this other thing like light and all those things are html and another language called css which we'll check later so html helps the web browser understand what it should show on the page so you can understand it like that it's a language which is used to create interactive web pages so we can create websites like how we want it to look like and we use this uh, we use html to do all these things so what do you need to make your websites well of course you need a pc and you need a few applications too the first one is a code editor uh, a code editor is where you write your code and you can uh, like test it and you can do all those things so uh, i recommend three any one of these three visual studio code or sublime text or even atom so uh, all these are free you can use uh, sublime text is not free you have to pay but I guess they have a trial also. And VS Code is what I'm using. Uh, I had done a video earlier on installing and configuring VS Code. So if you want, you can check that video. If you don't have it installed, uh, I'll link it at the top. And let's go ahead and see what HTML tags are. But before that, there's another requirement, which is your web browser. So you'll need one of these, Google Chrome, Firefox, or Edge. I'm using Firefox in this case. So uh, just this one. The browser that you go to your websites and all those things that's the web browser and so let's start the basics of HTML which is the first topic which is the HTML tags so tags are like keywords which uh, defines how web browser will format uh, the, and display the content like I showed you right uh, some texts are big some are small just like that these tags uh, tell the browser uh, if they, it should show as a big text or a small text or what it should show it as. Uh, and most of the HTML tags have opening and closing tag. Means like it'll start like this, head will stop here, and inside that uh, the content will be there. So it'll be like, um, for example, title. It'll show the title of the web page and it'll close. So the starting tag, in this case, the head tag in here, and this is the ending tag. So in this uh, place in the middle, we type what we want in the head of the web page. You might not know what the head is, but I'll show it to you soon. So uh, that's HTML tag, just uh, like a container, uh, which uh, defines how the web browser will format and display the content on the screen. For example, let's go to the same website which I was showing you. So in here, this one is, uh, a tag made with a tag and if you want to see what it is just right click on it and hit inspect or inspect element and now if you look here it's, it shows you it's a head six with those two angle brackets and the name of the uh, tag in the uh, middle and then you type what you want and again you are closing it with angle brackets a forward slash and uh, the name of the tag and the closing angle brackets so that's how most of the tags are you can see the section tag it starts, then it has some content in it, like this, these content, these things are the content, and it closes. Just like that, the footer tag, this tag called script, 
this uh, head tag which I showed you before. It has everything it needs inside in here. I'm going to just collapse it. So just like that. So even the body tag, if you close this, you'll see the body tag is also like that. So even the um, grandfather tag is the HTML tag. So inside this HTML tag, all the other tags are there. So we can't close the HTML tag, but if you were to close the HTML tag, then we would see uh, we have nothing, just the HTML tag. When we open it, we get two of them, the head and body tags. So this is a tag, this is a tag. That's how we understand the things. That's how things goes. So next, let's go into our browser. I mean, our presentation. And let's see what are HTML elements. So an HTML element is defined by a start tag, some content, and an end tag, which means like this. So the, this is the tag, and this is the closing tag, and this is the content. So this thing whole together is called an element. So an HTML element. So um, if you go to our website, we'll see that uh, this whole thing, the body from here till here the end so till here the whole thing is an HTML tag so it'll go like this 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 but I mean HTML element so um, this whole thing is an HTML element and um, the starting tag is the body tag in here and here also it, st it stops with the body tag so it's the tag and inside the tag there are the contents of the um, of the tag which is uh, the content and all together this whole uh, tag and the content is called the HTML element so that's something uh, which is very important in HTML so the tag things inside the tag and uh, the closing tag that's called the HTML element mm, so uh, now we know what HTML element is and in this video we'll discuss about three tags so the HTML tag the head tag, the title tag, and the body tag. And uh, throughout uh, this whole uh, like set of videos, we'll be building a small website, uh, which uh, will show like uh, what, it's like a, a personal website. So we'll show what, uh, who we are, uh, what we like to do, how to contact us, like a small website like that. And this is how a basic HTML document looks like. Anyways, um, you can, uh, do this right now but I'm just going to show you how you do this in a code editor I'm using VS code and if you want you could also use notepad so you could just do like this and notepad is there in all Windows installations but uh, I don't prefer using notepad there are not much features in it and VS code is much better for writing code here you have to write like this there are no autocompletes so HTML the, you, the, in VS code it will just close the tag with this but uh, I recommend you using uh, VS Code and not Notepad. So I'll just close that without saving it. And let's return to Visual Studio Code. So in here, what you can do is you can go to File and Open Folder. And you can just choose a folder. Uh, you can just open a folder and select the folder. It's going to reload the um, window in Visual Studio Code. And uh, you can just do this a button to um, create uh, a file and you can just name it index.html you must always make sure that you have the .html or it's not gonna work so I'll just show you once again you just look this and index I'm just giving index to because I already have it .html and you have to hit enter and this happens okay so that's what you need but I don't need the index to delete that and in the index.html, you may not have anything, uh, so I'm just going to clear this. I had this before. Now what you should do is just uh, follow me. Just type HTML. You see this HTML? Click in there. Then type head. Click in there. Title. Then you come out of head, like the side. Uh, closing tag of head. So this is the tag. So this whole thing is an element. And this is another element. If I type in something here, like title of my website. So this is your website. It doesn't look much like one, but just follow me now. So just go out of the head, come down and type in body. And so you have your website now. Just type in body. So you understand how it's looking like. Now the next thing we must do is run it. So we can just right click in here and open it live server. And that should bring up your browser. 
let's see this is how I got the output as I got the body and title of my website if you're not getting this always make sure that your code uh, it looks as uh, like, just like this it should be the same it's only then that's gonna render pro uh, like space is not a problem like if you give like this and if you have no space in here that's not a problem HTML white space is not a problem and you can just do on a keyboard shift alt uh, yeah F and it's gonna make your code look uh, neat so that's a shortcut and uh, if you don't have that open with live server option uh, you can just go in here to this extensions or you can just go to view extensions uh, yep there or control shift X if you just search for live server and you can just click on install when it comes. I already have it. That's the reason I got that option in there. I had covered all this in my previous video. You can refer that if you want. And um, so that's how your website looks like. Now let's look what um, the code is. So if you go uh, to our code right now, we'll be finding the same thing. So the first thing is the HTML. The HTML tag is where all your code goes in. So uh, the HTML tag has your website. The, all the content of the website, the head tag, body tag, everything is uh, on the HTML tag. Uh, so it's the uh, main tag of the website. It holds your body, everything that you show on the screen, maybe like that one over there. Everything in here is from the HTML tag. Everything's inside. If I just show it to you again, you can see the HTML tag is here. And see, you can, if I collapse all these, you will be able to see that. Um, Everything's inside this HTML tag. So it starts, it's having other things in here. Class equals font awesome. Let's delete that, hit enter. So it looks normal now, HTML, and it closes with slash HTML. So that's our website. So I'll just close that and I'll come back to our uh, code. And in here, the next tag that we see is the head tag. The head tag might not mean much to you right now. Uh, so the head tag just shows what it should show in uh, the head of the website, like this part on the browser stop. Uh, it also uh, is used in the head tag. We can input other style sheets, which might not make much sense to you right now. Uh, we'll cover all those in a later video. So just now, uh, for now, just think that the head tag holds your title of the web page. So this title, just think like that, and I'll just show it to you right now. If I go over to my this thing, in here you will be able to see that the title is inside the head tag. So uh, this head tag holds the title of my web page, and the title is the title of my website. So the title tag is just going to give the title of your website. That's a very simple tag. Um, inside the head tag, you give your title tag. And in the title tag, the content which you give is what title you want. For example, in the website that I showed you before, this is a website that I created actually. It's live on the internet. You can just go to this uh, URL. So uh, if you go to our website, the title is math for you And so that's what... I have in here just like that the title of my website I can just change it to title oh wait a second Oops. and if I go on back you can see that it's changed to title because I did the live server and always always make sure you are saving your code in order to see this thing for example, you might not save this if you are not saving it. You should go to File and Save It. Or you can do Control S. I have this feature called Auto Save enabled in VS Code. That's the reason I'm able to uh, uh, go there without saving. It'll just save it by itself. That's a, a useful feature too. And so we have covered the HTML tag, the head tag, and the title tag. The next thing is the body tag. The body tag has the body of the web page, which means the main part of the website so if you go here all these everything in here is the body tag so in our case this is the body tag you can write this is the body this is the body of the web site. so you were able to see it right now 
and this is the body of the website so uh, it's uh, just look like this we can make it the text look big small we'll cover all these in the future video and so in this video we just discussed about how um, the HTML basics look like what are tags or elements of the HTML tag head tag title tag and the body tag so tags are just these things which open and close some tags do not close they just uh, open and the HTML tag is just going to tell the browser how it should display. For example, HTML tag just tells uh, that is, this is the uh, document, this is the HTML document. Display everything in it. The head tag tells this should be in the top of the website. The title tells this should be the title of the website. The body tag tells this should be the body of the website. Just like that. Uh, and the HTML element is this whole thing. So if I collapse this right now, this is an HTML element. Then if I go ahead and collapse this, this is an HTML element, it starts, it has some content in there, and it stops. And this is another HTML element, it starts, content, stops. So all the HTML uh, elements have a starting tag, it has some content in it, and it closes, uh, and the closing tag has a slash uh, uh, after the starting angle bracket. So that was it for this video. I just wanted to show you uh, the basics of HTML. So we had actually discussed all these things uh, which I showed you. HTML tag, head tag, title tag, body tag. The head tag just, I know, is not much sense at times, but I'll show it to you in more detail in a future video. And the body tag just shows what we need to show on the web page, not the top, but the UI of the web page. The HTML tag tells the web page uh, side that it what a, it should show everything inside the tag so HTML tag just like tells the browser this is the document just show everything in it so that was it for this video bye and also don't forget me to follow me on Twitter and I'm on LinkedIn and also on the dev community so don't f forget to follow me and also do not forget to subscribe for more amazing videos and bye